Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you only about the store stuff within the WordPress studio. Let's get started. So I have observed even when I was new uh, to WordPress studio, uh, I was a bit confused about the output of the store. So uh, I'll take a step back, I'll tell you what is the store and then I'll tell you, uh, you know, uh, what is the uh, what is the confusion and then what is the hack I use uh, to get around. So the stories, all it does is whatever the input, it could be a message or it could be a variable, it stores into a file. Uh, so that will be in the available in the output folder. You know, it's a it's a file name in the output folder when we run the integration, right? So uh, we all, I all, when I was new, uh, I always get confused with this output. Like, oh, okay, what is happening to the message? Why, where is it going? Uh, going away and all, right? So uh, I observed the same thing with others as well. So uh, others, uh, my teammates and my uh, you know colleagues and all, they also ask the same question. Like, why, where is it going? Why, whatever, whatever. So I'll just give you some, uh, you know, uh, I'll shed some light on that. And then I'll give you what is the hack I use. So I have given a simple studio. All it does is start. And then I have written hello world here. Uh, it's a right step. I'm just replacing whatever the input and with this output, right? Hello world. And in this store, both the input and output are messages. And output from this store, whatever this message, I'm storing in the log. Okay. So generally, what we expect is hello world. Uh, you know, hello world will be stored in an output. And of course, we expect the hello world, this message to be available in the log as well, but that's not the case. So when when I have observed the log, this is the message. I know it's not readable, so I have converted into proper XML. Uh, and then, so all it does is, all the output of the store st shows, right? The message was successfully stored into the you know tenant. And these are all the other parameters. Like let's just say this is the title, this is the size of it, is this compressed, attached, whatever, whatever. Uh, most of the things I don't care personally, right? So uh, even the same case with others as well. We don't care. We we rely on store. It just does its job. We don't care uh, its output, right? So just think that uh, you give uh, hundred dollars to a person and ask him to deposit. Uh, that money into a bank account then uh, he comes back with a receipt so this is a receipt he don't come back with a message itself like hundred dollars he won't come back and give you no that's not that's not what's happening it's just that he is going to give the receipt to the other person okay so what is the hack I'm going to it's not a hack it's not uh, nothing uh, you know it's just a proper thing right instead of storing the output into a message, I store the output into a variable and then I'm not going to use it. I've just exclusively given it as a do, uh, do not use it. And then I'm printing the output uh, from store to the log file. So this is the output. So whatever the uh, store step got as an input is giving that as an output. So the, the receipt is being uh, you know used sent to the temp variable and it's not it's not it's not being used so i want to add one more point here i want to uh, tell you why i use store instead of a log message right log message there are some limitations you cannot if you have a very uh, lengthy message there is a limit after a certain point it trims down right that's the first thing second thing is that accessing the log file uh, will take some time that means you need more number of clicks. That's the first thing. And you have to open the you know, you know, text file and then you have to get to the message and all. You got to scroll down multiple times and all. Whereas if you use store and then you give appropriate name, let's just say it's an XML or it's just a, you know CSV or whatever, you can just open the, uh, the file as it is. And then you can, you get to, uh, you know get to the result easily and then you get to see the values easily. So that is additional information. I am telling you So that's it from my side for today Happy coding. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.